Okay, I'm trying to download some sample Windows programs that we can install and run with Wine in Ubuntu 11.10. We've just installed Wine in Ubuntu and we're looking for some programs. Now, a good program is Notepad, which I've already down Notepad++, which is a nice uh, text editor for writing um, code and script in. Um, it's a really nice program. So I've already downloaded that to the Downloads folder. I'm using Firefox here. And so I've downloaded Notepad++ installer, Windows installer. And I've been told that iTunes 7.2 works well, but when you go here to this site to download it, it's a uh, pitfall of um, advertisements. So then I click here, and of course you have no idea what to click on to actually download it. So I'm just going to take a chance and assume that this is the actually the only correct link to download it for. It says here, you have chosen to open Brothersoft Downloader for iTunes.exe. All right. Okay, that looks like it worked. So I'll leave it like that. And what I'll do is I'll close this browser now and close that and we'll close this and let's open up a terminal alright and let's navigate to our downloads folder since we're in our home folder all we have to do is go there ls and you can see there's the Brothersoft downloader for iTunes now this iTunes downloaders for the current version of iTunes and when I tried to install it it really um, Wine and Linux didn't work out very well at all but let's try it first with something that I know will be successful which will be this notepad plus plus so let's run that installer so what I'll do is I'll just type wine space NPP tab and then run the installer I'll click OK and next, notice the um, installation dialog box. Looks like a typical Windows installation dialog box. And hit next. I can create a shortcut on the desktop or no. I'll just hit install. And we'll let that installer run. Let's run it after finishing. And you can see that it runs perfectly. You can see I can hit File, New create a new blank file and I have a nice text code editor text editor slash code editor with notepad plus plus alright so that works really nicely um, I'll clear that and do an ls again alright let's see if we can run this brother soft wine capital BR tab hit enter Let's see if this is working okay this is not looking good next alright looks like it's downloading the iTunes executable folder right now I unchecked installing the Brothersoft toolbars that come with it. Um, we'll see how this goes. I might pause the recording since it's going to take a few minutes. Okay, it looks like it brought up the iTunes 7 installer as promised. So we'll just run it and see if we can get this one to work. Now, once again, when I installed the newer version of um, iTunes it didn't seem to work too well so we'll give this one a shot okay we'll hit finish I'm gonna clear the screen here and do a CD dot dot and then I'll do a CD space dot wine ls cd dr tab drive underscore c forward slash c 
cd pr tab program files ls and there's itunes okay so now we have notepad plus plus itunes all right let's go into the itunes folder take a look in it all right there's the program so wine space i capital t tab itunes dot exe and we'll see if it runs okay looks like it did not run um, okay um, itunes did not run well in wine i've tried two different versions and so um, and i forgot to hit the record button again i'm going to remove uh, I removed iTunes and I'm going to remove the rest of the software that installed when I installed iTunes. So I'm going to click on the home here, type in wine. There's the uninstall wine software icon. So I'll click that. Opens up a little wine uninstaller. And I already uninstalled, I selected the iTunes and uninstalled it, but I'm going to uninstall this QuickTime program just so you can see how it works. So what I'll do is I'll just select QuickTime here and click remove and then I can click this remove button and it'll remove QuickTime for Windows and now we've covered how to uninstall programs in Wine. Alright, I'll hit finish and it's gone. I'll just click OK and that's that. So we were successful with Notepad++, um, unsuccessful with iTunes but uh, but it was a good start and what we can do is we can go to the appdbwinehq.org headquarters and look for other programs and games especially that will install well in wine.